शोकंडे यम्मी इंच वन पुन शिवाय दिन द जा रहे I am always on the lookout for healthy and yummy snacks for my kids. Recently I found these gorgeous lima beans also known as avare kalu in Kannada at the market and knew we had to make something special with them. Today we are making crispy golden lima beans pakoda that are packed with flavor and nutrition. These little gems are a great source of protein, fiber and vitamins making them a perfect guilt-free treat for kids and adults alike. I know it's deep fried but I still think it's better and healthier than the packaged foods. So let's get cooking. We have around 2 cups of lima beans here and we will grind them coarsely along with some salt as per taste, few green chilies, curry leaves and some ginger. You need to grind them very coarsely. Avoid adding any water as this will make the batter slightly liquidy and will make it difficult for you to make the pakoras. Now we will add some cumin seeds to this, one finely chopped onion and some coriander leaves mix it well if you think that the batter is slightly watery and will not hold shape then you can add some rice flour or gram flour or besan to it we are adding a tablespoon of rice flour to it this will also make it super crispy you can also add any masalas if you wish like coriander powder or cumin powder we are adding half a teaspoon of garam masala powder to it next is frying them in oil we have kept some oil for frying Me being a Mangalorean I use coconut oil for all my recipes. You can use any oil that you prefer. Once the oil is hot, give them your desired shape and then fry them till they are very crisp. Keep the flame on medium to ensure even cooking. Here is an interesting legend about Avare Kalu in Karnataka. Queen Abbakka Chowta of Ullal from the 16th century used these beans as a weapon to fight Portuguese invaders. She gathered the lima beans from the fields and roasted them until they turned black and crisp. The queen then added potent spices and coated the beans with red chili powder. When hurled at the enemies, these fire beans exploded in a cloud of pungent pepper and scorching chilies, creating an atmosphere of spice and smoke. This resulted in chaos, disorientation and discomfort among the Portuguese invaders and allowed Abbakka soldiers to gain upper hand using the unconventional fiery legumes as a means of defense during the conflict. Interesting, isn't it? Please note that there is no historical evidence to support this narrative. This is just a charming legend. So do try this recipe for yourself and let me know in the comment section about any suggestions you may have for me or your opinions. Thank you for liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Leave any suggestions in the comment section below.